The other special case of multiplying two binomials we need to look at is what happens when we square a binomial. And if we refer back to our uh, knowledge of exponents, whatever the base of the exponent is, is what we are repeatedly multiplying the number of times that the exponent tells us. So because this x plus 3 is in a bracket, it means that the base of the exponent is the whole of x plus 3, and x plus 3 raised to the power of 2 means that we need to multiply x plus 3 by itself. And from here, we do exactly the same as we normally do. So we use FOIL. Remember that this is not a sum and difference bracket. Both of these are plus. So even though the brackets are identical, our sum and difference rule only works if the one is a plus and the other is a minus. In this case, they are both plus. So we have to use the full FOIL. x times x is x squared. The outers, x times positive 3 is positive 3x. The inners, positive 3 times x is positive 3x. And the last, positive 3 times positive 3 is positive 9. We have like terms in the middle of this um, expression. So x squared, positive 3x, add 3x is positive 6x and then the positive 9. Okay, so it's exactly the same process as multiplying binomials normally, except that we need to bear in mind that it's the bracket being squared, so we have the bracket multiplied by exactly the same bracket. In your homework book are some examples for you to try, so if you can pause the video here and try these three sums. Number one x plus 2 squared, this is in a bracket, which means that the whole of x plus 2 is the base of the exponent, and squared means that we must multiply it by itself. So x plus 2 times x plus 2. So x times x is x squared. x times the outers, x times 2 is positive 2x. The inners, x times 2 is positive 2x, and the last is 2 times 2, which is 4 the 2x and the 2x can be added together, so the expression simplifies to x squared plus 4x plus 4. a minus 3 all squared means a minus 3 multiplied by a minus 3. So if we again do foils, a times a is a squared. And now if you like, if you can see what happens, that you land up with two middle terms that are exactly the same. So your outers will give you negative 3a, and your inners will give you negative 3a, so altogether you're going to have negative 6a. So if you're comfortable to do that, you can actually add the like terms straight away. And then negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And then number 3, 2b plus c all squared means 2b plus c multiplied by itself. 2b multiplied by 2b is, uh, apologies, 4b squared. 2b times c is 2bc, and we'll have another 2bc in the, in, from the inners, so all together we'll have 4bcs, and then c times c is positive c squared.